My name's Ted. I'm the GMM at Eastern Mountain Sports. I get to work with all of the product teams here involved in developing EMS brand product and selecting national brand products. At the end of the day, it's a, it's a pretty good gig. Two reasons why these day packs are really important to our brand. One, it's a, it's a great opportunity for us to showcase our brand to a really broad group of people. They can get aware of our brand, they can get aware of the quality of uh, a product that we deliver on our brand, they can, they can become aware of the features that are available on our brand, and they can become available at, at the prices that we launch that brand at. Second is that I think the back to school line for, for 2008 is indicative of what you'll see in the future for EMS brand equipment. We're very proud of these back to school day packs. Take a look at them, I think you'll, you'll feel the same way. And you'll only see things of that quality from us in the future. These packs were designed to be trail worthy. And so we recognize in August and September that, that you're going to be buying packs to go to school, to travel with, to, to take on business trips. And we hope that you recognize that as we went through that process, we were really aware and hopeful that these packs would see something other than the inside of conference rooms and trains and planes. And we designed them with that in mind. They are fully trail worthy. And from our perspective, if these packs don't go outside, if all these packs see is the inside of buildings and schools, then you, quite frankly, you're missing the point. Welcome to my lair. This is my little pig pen that I work in every single day trying to make cool stuff for, uh, for you guys to get out on the floor and sell and have, have fun with and play around. Uh, we set out to make uh, a family of five bags that each have their own personal character to them by style. Um, but there is a familiarity within the fit and the way that they all lay out on uh, users' backs. So, pretty stoked about them, and I'm really looking forward to uh, you guys getting a hold of them and uh, getting them out in the stories and using them out in the trail. Okay, I get a lot of questions on the names and how this all came about because you know they're kind of all over the place. Sometimes you get you go to one brand and the next, it's like, where you know are you naming after mountains? What are you doing here? Well, the bags themselves are pretty eclectic, so we kind of want to come up with some eclectic names uh, as well to, to fit, e fit each personality because each bag is its own separate personality. This is Tony, the Director of Sourcing Equipment at Eastern Mountain Sports, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit about how our day pack line came to be in the far off land of Vietnam. After our design partner Joe conceives these products, does all the design specs, my team which consists of myself, Ramsey McDonald, and Rebecca Burke. We send over a detailed specification where every material, every piece of thread, every stitch line that goes into that design, so our factory partners in Asia know exactly how we want to make them. Uh, we've got a fin actually at the bottom of our hill where I live. Uh, it's it's a, a type of a, basically it's a type of a bog, but it's more, um, um, more alkaline than acidic, like a bog is, so it has a really unique uh, um, bit sort of uh, aspect to it, which is pretty neat out here in New England. In the front compartment, I put all my essentials. My keys, they have a little holder for them so they don't fall down because I'm constantly losing my keys. Uh, place for my iPod, and a little pouch for my phone. One of my favorite features is actually this pouch here, it's fuzzy so I can put my glasses in and they won't get scratched. My itty bitty day planner, duct taped, gotta love duct tape. With that, we request samples and we bring those samples back here to the office or sometimes we go over to Vietnam where these packs are being currently made and we sit there with our, our partners and we make sure that they are building them exactly the way we want them to. My favorite one is, well two, I like the Esker and I like the Moraine. And I like them because they're hiking worthy. They still kept the, uh, you know, the water bottle holders. They've got a nice, you know, this one's really simple, clean cup, but it's got a nice cushioned back panel. The Moraine, you get a little more. You get a little webbing, hip belt. Still really comfy cushioned back panel. Well, the Moraine and the, uh, the Esker dealing with sort of, uh, um, Buildups that are in the landscape. They give you the really uh, funky and unique landforms that you see out here in New England. Those could be sneakers. In the wintertime, I put them in my indoor shoes and wear my boots. So there's a lot of room. And then in the little back part, which is supposed to be for hydration, 
I put all my magazines. So I got my Trans World, my Wend, uh, my Summer Reading, my Notebook, my Calendar, and my Paycheck. And that's about it that's in the main part of my pack. And I like this little top part because I put in my really stylish sunglasses. So that I know where they are. I just, I like the size and I like the features. I'm still a water bottle guy, so I, I see why other people will like the four-wheel jive and some of the others, but I need water bottle pockets, and I really like these outside pockets. And it's, and, you know, just a good size and a good comfy pack, so that's the one I'd get. While the name might sound like a plea for precipitation, I think it's actual glacial residue, or maybe the anatomy of a glacier, something good like that. Um, today, inside the moraine, Give you a little bit of tour. Probably more about me than my pack. Um, papers with a lot of numbers on them. Uh, they make us keep these around. We still haven't figured out quite what to do with them. A um, little bit of gear for after work bouldering sesh. Got to keep that around. Keep the bag good and chalky. Um, lunch, which is really important to me. You might want to zoom in on that. Those who know me know I'm on a very strict diet. Uh, <laughs> fluff and snowballs is my exclusive diet at this point. Let me see a little after work long trail. We're gonna need that. Let me see what else we have. Would not be complete with some cop shades. And then you get uh, so into the more oddball stuff like the Creek Freak, which is, you know, the, the basic idea there was, hey, let's make a day pack where you can have like a wet dry area through all your wet crap in the front end being able to run around without uh, getting your laptop and everything else like that wet. So, well, okay, fine. You're a creek freak, you're jumping through the woods, whatever. So my pack, that's a personal question. Uh, why do you want to know? I'll go in, Ho hopefully nothing embarrassing. So let's go in and take a peek. Uh, I do a lot of riding. So I've got, first of all, the most important thing is my trusty Segoy bike shorts. And uh, what everyone should have you don't need a fancy bike shirt to ride. You can just get one of our wonderful pieces of tech wick. I have a pair of uh, Eastern Mountain Sports socks, which I love. And a hairbrush. I still have hair, despite how stressful this job can be sometimes. It's great to be able to go out and work, work off some stress or get re-energized by going out at lunch and doing some bike rides. I already know that um, this is one of the packs that's uh, in our top five sellers right now. We've just launched these. They're coming into the store and that's kind of a shameless plug for it, but um, we're really excited that this new pack line has taken off the way it has. All that stuff happens, and we send comments back to the vendor, and these guys understand it. They work with a lot of other companies like TNF and Eagle Creek and Kelty Jansports. They understand day packs. They know how to make day packs. They know what the customer wants, so they help us fix the capacity issues, fix the design yeah, issues. Jive, it's just like, okay, here's just the big mutt. You know, you're throwing all your junk into it. Um, with all the stuff going on with the gas prices and uh, the, the damage done from in the environment from using so many uh, um, petroleum type products. Okay, it's just four wheel instead of drive, just jive. Well, we're so excited about the EMS day pack line that I can't even take mine off. Best line we've seen in quite a while. We're expecting and back to school to sell 4,000 units. A really exciting line, a really good business, and I wish you a lot of luck in kind of, selling it. Thanks. Kind of what EMS is supposed to be all about is making those those long-term value commitment sort of buys, and uh, that confidence level and stuff is going to be sticking around for a long time. Well, we ran into a little problem. We're putting together this video, we gave everybody in the video a EMS day pack and we ended up having to write a big fat check to cover the expense. Unbelievable. They just would not give them back because they loved them so much. And that's what I'd like to do for you. At the end of the month, the store in each district that has the biggest increase over their day pack plan, everybody on that team is going to walk away with one of the EMS Creek Freaks. I hope it's you. Enjoy it. So uh, we got some day packs out there. They're new. They're the best damn day packs around. We got an incentive. Sell them. Might even get some free stuff out of it, all right? It's an order.